how are you i hope you all are safe at home and doing well so kids today we will read a story about akbar and birbal from the class 4 english textbook marigold unit 7 and the title of the story is the scholar's mother tongue after that we will discuss new words from the chapter question answers and some other textbook exercise questions the story is about king akbar a priest who visited his court and of course birbal the famous minister of king akbar's court so let us start the story the scholar's mother tongue a learned pandit once visited the court of akbar he told the king and his courtiers that he had mastery over many different languages the pandit could speak many languages fluently he was so fluent that no one could find out what his mother tongue was he challenged everybody at the court to name his mother tongue when everyone failed the challenge was taken up by birbal that night birbal went quietly to the pandit's room when he was asleep he whispered into the pandit's ear and tickled it with a feather the pandit half awake cried out suddenly and shouted out words in his mother tongue birbal came to the court the next day and told everyone that the pandit's mother tongue was telugu the pandit was surprised and accepted the truth king akbar then asked birbal how did you find the truth birbal answered in times of difficulty a person speaks only his mother tongue he also told the king how he had gone to the pandit's room at night to find out the truth so in this way birbal found out the mother tongue of the pandit that was telugu now let us learn some new words from the chapter and first word is learned meaning having good knowledge an example sentence is a learned pandit came to akbar's court next word is mother tongue meaning language which a person has been speaking from childhood and sentence can be every mother tongue is unique in its own way challenged meaning call to prove something and sentence can be i accepted the challenge with dignity next word is whispered meaning meaning spoke very softly and sentence can be birbal whispered into pandit's ear next word is tickled meaning a light touch with finger or feather that makes you laugh and sentence can be i tickled him under the ears irritated meaning showing slight anger and sentence is the street dog irritated the old man now let us move to the question answer part first question is who came to akbar's court and the answer is a learned pandit came to akbar's court 
Next question is, what did he claim to know? And the answer is, the learned pundit claimed that he had command over many different languages. Next question is, how did he challenge everybody? And the answer is, he challenged everybody to find out his mother tongue. Now, tick the words which end with the sound ID. Say each word aloud. ID it. Okay? So, words which have ending sound ID are accepted, irritated, completed, cried, celebrated, and fried. And kids, you must speak the words loudly and pay attention to pronunciation. Next question is, tick the right answer. I visited the court of Akbar's means. And the options are, you always live there, you came there for a short time and you were born there. And correct answer is B, you came there for a short time. Next question is, to imitate someone means to copy someone, tease someone or make someone angry and the correct answer is a copy someone now look and fill the columns and one has been done for you so let us start quite quietly fluent fluently angry Angrily, sad, sadly, fierce, fiercely, gentle, gently. So kids, words end with ly are called adverbs. And an adverb is a word that modifies a verb, an adjective, and another adverb and lots of adverbs and with ly like quickly, extremely, happily, etc. Now match the words in column A with the words in column B. King, courtiers, teacher, Students, doctor with patients, bus driver with passengers, lawyer with clients, and mother with children. Now add A or N before the given words in the basket. Kids, as you know, there are 26 letters in the English alphabet family. Letters A, E, I, O and U are vowels. And all other letters than vowels are called consonants. So, there are 5 vowels in English A, E, I, O, U and 21 consonants. A and N are articles in English. So, the article A is used before singular countable nouns which begins with consonant sounds. And the article N is used before singular countable nouns which begins 
with vowel sounds now add a or n before the given words in the baskets a rug a pillow a bed sheet an alarm clock a wall clock a wrist watch an apple an orange a banana an ice cream a bow an arrow a ball a bat a doll a vest coat a long coat a rain coat and an umbrella next exercise question is the truth balloon kids suppose you are going on a camping holiday what are the four most important things you will carry with you choose from the tags attached to the hot air balloon so kids there are some things which are attached with the hot air balloon and the four most important things that we will carry with us are money water bottles first aid kit and food packets now it's fun time here is a crossword fun kids india is a country of many languages let us see if you know what the people of the states in this crossword puzzle speak the clues are given below the first letter of each answer has been filled in for you so let us now begin with the given clues first we will start from across and the first clue is this language is spoken in orissa and the name of the language is yes tell me odia next clue is it is spoken in karnataka and the name of the language is kannad the people of assam speak this language and the language is assamese next clue is this language is used in andhra pradesh and the answer is telugu you can hear this spoken in maharashtra and the name of the language is marathi now let us start with down clues and the first clue is the people of kerala speak this language and the name of the language is malayalam it is a major language of communication in our country and the language is hindi next clue is the language of the goan people and it is konkani next clue is this is spoken in tamil nadu and the name of the language is tamil our last clue is it is widely spoken in uttar pradesh and elsewhere and the name of the language is urdu now we have completed the crossword puzzle so kids it's all for today 
Till then, goodbye, stay home and stay safe. Thank you.